a boundary will win it. So that's it. He's got to hit a boundary. We go over the top. A wet New Year's Day in Sydney meant a reduced match of 43 overs per side. And it was the West Indies who took the ascendancy. Still capable of packing a punch in the sunset period of a dominant era. Got him, put behind. Windies had their rivals on the canvas. A target of 173 looking miles off as the Aussies crashed to 6 for 38. And for a moment, they looked dead and buried when Roger Harper claimed this catch off Michael Bevan. Well, Bevan's waiting. Replays then showed the ball had been grasped. Harper and Bevan would meet again later. In the air and four. Meantime, Bevan had a rescue mission on his hands. Did that one well, beautifully struck. A 25-year-old piercing the gaps with surgical precision to give the home side hope. It's a magnificent 50 for Michael Bevan. Paul Rifle had offered great support until he holed out. Scott! Good catch! Leaving Bevan to take Australia to the last over, needing seven runs for a miraculous victory. Into the gap, it goes all the way. A delirious SCG crowd begging for more fireworks. Roger Harbour to bowl the final over. And for Shane Warne to get Bevan back on strike. Call for the photo. Warne short of his ground. Australia nine down with no margin left for error. Glenn McGrath making his way slowly to the centre of the Sydney cricket ground. Brown strike. It's well done. No helmet, no worries for Glenn McGrath. Placing Bevan back in the hot seat. We go for Gloria, we go for two, we place him. A dot ball. Now, four runs needed off the final delivery. Bevan announcing himself to the world as a middle order miracle worker with what remains his signature piece in a glittering one day international career. I've seen one of the all time great one day innings and a full house goes berserk. A tremendous effort by this young man, number 12, put it down in a diary. A superb innings, the grass divided as well.